uh, an exciting company called Planet. Uh, Daniel, you and I may have talked about them before. I've written multiple articles, done a bunch of uh, interviews with the CEO and the key sponsor, DMY Technology. I will call him the king of SPAC, Niccolo Damasi. Uh, and and um, essentially, by the way, I call him king of SPAC. We sometimes think of uh, uh, Chamaf, Palahapatia as, as the king. Uh, Niccolo actually has better returns uh, for the last uh, couple months, but <laughs> yeah, I know, Pat. I okay. Still buy. <laughs> okay. That's right. <laughs> so, uh, net net, uh, planets, a data company, you know, it's business model, essentially they obtain data from their own satellites, uh, that they built through an agile process and they have a, uh, a model where they can sell the data to anybody. Cause there are companies that will buy, that they will, do scans and only sell it to one customer. Uh, so it's more of a cloud-like, more like a SaaS-like type of uh, type of thing. 200 satellites, that's 10X more than anybody else, 10 to 20 times more than anybody else. Um, but anyways, that's who they are. They went public, New York Stock Exchange, uh, dollar sign PL, and this, you could probably hear the dog in the background, my apologies. Um, essentially, a um, out of a DSPAC with DMY technology, DMYQ. So um, they brought in, let me see, $590 million in gross proceeds, set a record 2% redemptions, and essentially only 2% of the people in the pipe said, nah, just give me my money back. The average, the average for Q4 is between 50 and 75%, which is absolutely astounding. And they have $200 million uh, pegged for investments. Uh, a lot of that is OPEX. Interestingly enough, um, uh, sales and marketing and distribution, because they have the tech. I mean, they're literally running planetary circles around their, their, their uh, competition like Black Sky. Um, but interesting, interesting company. They'll have th a three hundred million dollar war chest after they make these investments. For uh, this is just my hunch, not what they're saying for potential acquisitions. Yeah, great, a great result. Uh, we've all seen the market has been extraordinarily punitive to SPACs, so it's you know seeing such a low redemption rate means the people that are in this despite the volatility and market gyrations right now, believe in it long term. We certainly know space is an interesting topic. The biggest tech, uh, you know, moguls on the planet are all interested in this area. And so this is, you know, kind of going back to what we talked about, it's an area that's becoming more and more investable and people want that opportunity to invest. 